So after editing this video, I realize I am much better in the shop than in front of the camera. So it's kind of boring, but stick with it. Eventually I'll get better. So it's time to unveil the new project. What you see here is a 95 Ford Lightning. Bought this truck a little over four years ago. Had 26,000 original miles on it. Uh, when I bought it, it was already pretty heavily modified. So it's not like I'm cutting up an original truck to do this. The truck originally had Vortex Supercharger on it, had AFR heads, uh, standalone engine management system. It was, it was pretty well modified. It made just under 500 horsepower at the time, which is pretty stout for, for a street truck. But, you know, I can't leave anything alone. I had to make it my own. So I only drove it about 100 miles before I brought it here and took it apart. Most of the Lightning guys are into drag racing. Uh, I do like to go, but I'm not that into it. Uh, I'm not into it enough to build a drag specific vehicle, that's for sure. So I want something I can drive on the street that's gonna handle pretty well. I am also only 20 minutes away from the New Jersey Motorsports Park, so even though it's shaped like a brick, I kind of want it to turn. I want to be able to take it out there, make it handle, and you know, just, just to go have fun with it. So, the original suspension setup on this truck, the I-beams in the front end, they are really heavy. Uh, the original plan was to put a Crown Vic front suspension under it. In the rear, it is leaf springs and a solid rear axle. Um, at one point, this truck had ladder bars with coilovers under it, which neither of those are really good for turning. Um, so, uh, Matt and I were talking about what we were gonna do uh, we called a couple chassis shops and see what our options were. Uh, the original plan was to go with like a four link or something like that. Um, then Matt was looking on eBay, found something kind of interesting, piqued my interest and started us down this rabbit hole that you see here. So Matt's eBay find kind of changed the, the path that we were going to take for this truck. So originally we were just going to modify an original truck frame. Uh, those frames are actually really weak. They twist very easily, so we're going to have to cage it anyway. Um, but this, uh, this was very interesting. Definitely something that no one else has ever done before, which is exactly what I want. So in a couple minutes, we'll go in the other room and you'll be able to see what that purchase was. All right, so for the engine, we're going to stick with the small block Ford. I got a dark block AFR 220 heads. Uh, the cam was done by Little John's Motorsports. It has twin S366 turbos that were built by Reed at Work Turbochargers. Uh, the engine was assembled by LM Engines in Hatboro, PA. Uh, it should be a pretty stout combo. We're looking at, it, at, at the flywheel to probably make about 1,000 horsepower. Um, I, I would really like to see maybe 750, 700 at least at the wheels, and it, it should be uh, it should be pretty fun. For the transmission, I really wanted to get rid of the stock E4OD. Um, I really wanted to put a T56 in there. I have a couple other cars that have have a stick in them. Uh, I really enjoy driving a stick. However, I used to race motocross. I completely blew my knee apart, and arthritis is pretty bad. So. You know, on, on certain days, even driving those cars, it's kind of painful to be driving. So I didn't want to drive. I, I didn't want to build anything that was going to be painful to drive. So we're going to go with an automatic. Um, we looked at what our options were. I really need to keep overdrive because it's going to be a street truck. So what we decided on was the 4L80E. So we called up ATI and got their adapter plate for it. Uh, it's a half-inch aluminum uh, mid plate. Uh, it comes with the flex plate and ba basically everything you need to bolt it up. For the converter, I called up Chris at Circle D. Uh, that, that should be here in a couple weeks. So when we're going to do the four link and the Crown Vic front suspension swap, we're just going to use the stock frame and just modify it. But now with the new suspension, it pretty much necessitated us to build a completely new frame. So a few weeks ago we built the frame table. Um, in the last week or so, we've started on this project, which really has rolled pretty quickly for, for as in-depth of the build it really is. So we'll go in the other room. You'll get to see the new frame and uh, pretty much everything that we have set up. 
All right, so what Matt found on eBay is right here. We picked it up from Cleveland Power and Performance. It is a 1998 Dodge Viper rear suspension. You got the differential, brakes, the whole cradle, you know, the whole rear frame. So we are in the process of cutting this up so, uh, so we can make it fit in the Lightning. Uh, we are gonna have to chop quite a bit of bed out to make it fit, but it should be pretty cool. All right, so now that the rear suspension is out of the way, what were we gonna do for the front? So we already had the Crown Vic. Uh, we have done one in Matt's truck, but it has certainly become very popular to do the Crown Vic swap. So I like to do things different and what can be more different than the Viper. So we called up Cleveland Power and Performance and ordered the front suspension from a 05 Viper. The frame, as you can see, is nowhere near complete. Uh, it's just the outer frame rail now. It will be a double frame rail. Uh, will be you know, triangulated and obviously much stronger than it is now. And we are, we are gonna end up doing a cage by the time we get done with it. So it should be pretty sturdy. These rear frame rails will end up getting cut off. We'll uh, build new brackets to hold the bed and rear bumper. Where the frame comes down from the Viper, that'll all get tied in. Uh, these cross members are left long intentionally. They'll, they'll get trimmed up. So there you have it, that's the project. It's basically an extended wheelbase Viper that will have a thousand horsepower and a lightning body on it. So obviously we have a ton of work to do. It's gonna take some time. It'll be months before this is actually on the road and running. But you know, make sure you like, subscribe, follow along, and we'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching, have a good day.